the grass is greener on the other side, right? I mean, obviously. On the other side of the fence, it's so beautiful. From where you're standing, these other people have it all. All the money, the homes, perfect relationships, cars, everything. They're nothing but happy. The reality is you have no idea what their lives are like. At all. <laughs> you have no idea. But that's a powerful feeling to have when you don't have the things they have and life puts so much emphasis on having these things, these fancy luxury things, this perfect relationship. And when you see those that in your mind you think they have this, reality may be something quite different. So I believe instead of being jealous of others, I turn around and say, the grass is going to be greener where you water it. I'm going to water my side of the fence and make my life better. I don't know anything about their life. <laughs> okay. The facade looks nice, but I don't know anything really about their life. But I know about my life. I learned that people are fantastic actors and you can watch their lives and say wow there's everything is just so perfect and they have everything they have all the worldly possessions uh, perfect job uh, power in the community control uh, monies fancy travel When I was younger, I felt envy for these things. I wish I had them. And I believed that having them would somehow make me happier and, and would change my life for the better. The fact is people put on a great show. The more you get to know what's going on in their life, you find out it's not that different from yours. It's not that different from yours. It may be a lot more stressful and a lot less happy. It's a facade that people put on. And then we find ourselves jealous of them. Jealous of what they have. Jealous of what we perceive them to have. This just pursuit of things to satisfy a need and a desire because you're jealous of others and envious of others when you really don't know anything about their life. And the closer that you get to where they are, you find yourself overworked, stressed, unhealthy, no intimacy in your life, nothing. I mean... It, you just get to that point where you ask yourself, was this worth it? I mean, what was I jealous of? It takes a long time pursuing this desire to try to be like others. People that we are jealous of. People that we think have an amazing life. The fact is, their life probably isn't that much more amazing than ours. And they have a lot of stress in their life. And it took years for me to realize I just need to focus on me. I just need to focus on my life. Later on, as I got older, I really wasn't as jealous of others anymore. A lot of the things that I had worked hard for and achieved, it got me into this place in life where I realized... 
their lives were not that different from mine. They weren't any better. And this insane pursuit of things and money has not made me happier. I have found happiness in the smallest of things. Spending time with my children. Going to eat pizza in the afternoon on a Saturday with them. Watching them do swim lessons when they were younger. Um, watching them go out and surf and paddle with their friends and spend time with their friends. Come home laughing, having a wonderful time. Sitting and talking to them over ice cream on a Friday afternoon. These little things with my family have brought me more happiness than possessions. And I find myself looking back at those years when I was so jealous of others, thinking they had all these things, saying, you know, really, the, the best things that have come to me in my life have not come through money. They have come through hard work, planning, preparation, commitment on my part, but really through those around me, friends and family that are close to me. That was a real change. It's really interesting to find myself in a position now where I say I would not trade places with anyone. I look at the most powerful, most rich, most influential people, I would not trade places with them. I look at people who have fancy things, fancy cars, uh, a fancy life, house, luxuries, and I say, instead of being jealous, instead of being envious and wishing I had these things, I say, good on you, that's awesome. I'm happy for you. I wouldn't trade places with any of them. That's an interesting place to be. That's a healthy place to be in life. I say it's interesting because it's so different from where I was years ago. All the people that I wish I had what they had, and then when I did have it, I was like, why? It didn't make me happier along the way or at the destination. The friends and family that I have around me make me happy and fulfill my life. And now I find myself wanting, I mean, I'm selling my worldly possessions. As I said in an earlier video, if an asset does not bring me income, I sold it. <laughs> I don't have it anymore. I'm traveling the world with one backpack. And... Finding adventure and new experiences is more important than the acquiring of things. And I've lost that jealousy and that envy. It's gone. And it feels wonderful. I want to say thank you for spending time. And uh, please comment. I would really enjoy uh, reading your comments on this particular topic and join in on the conversation. We will continue on with the series every weekend and uh, just really enjoyed this. It was nice. It was a really good uh, topic to go over. This was an important one for me. Uh, the transition in life from what was important to me younger and what is important to me now and to drop and lose that jealousy, that was Something I really enjoyed chatting about. I hope all of you have a wonderful week and we will be back again next weekend with another edition of this series on Miyamoto Musashi's Dokoro. And I will talk to you soon. Aloha.